Hi folks, I'm Fatal Snail. You're here watching Firewatch. Now this is a live stream that I had done a couple of Sundays ago over on Twitch. Um, I'm there most Sundays, sort of between 8 and 10. We like, like to play some nice, chill, calm games and everybody's more than welcome to join us. I'll pop the link down in the description below. Uh, but that's all from now. Enjoy the stream and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers for keeping me company, guys. Bye. So I'm hoping this isn't too loud. To be fair, a lot of this game is walking and talking. <laughs> There's not, well, there's a bit of music, actually, the soundtrack to it's quite good. So we're Boulder, Colorado in 1975. You see Julia. Click. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So... Uh, what's your, you know, major or you, you're pretty. I would go with this one. I'm much more of a sloppy drunk. You're pretty, she says coolly. You're not. You're a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. Oh, I forgot all about this. I'm going to pick up a backpack. I have feet. It's always nice to have feet in a game. It's not a very common thing, to be fair. So if I remember rightly, that's my truck there. Yeah, we're gonna get put the backpack in the truck. Yes. No, maybe. Go to let me. Do I have to go to the end? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? There's one thing about this game that sort of blows it out of the water is the art style. I'm a terrible sucker for art style. You date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She will bring wants to bring a tour with bring it with her to class. I can't speak today. There's also an intimidating but gentle eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. So do we want a beagle named Bucket or a shepherd named Mayhem? I would like the beagle. Ah. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. I do. 1979. You, walk out, you talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30pm and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks kids uh they're not very smart or good at much i'm saying if you and i were to have some a couple little idiots that would be pretty good or one day why rush well that would be pretty good in that case we should probably get married yeah i would like that you say these kids are going to be screwed up enough it's probably best that their parents are hitched you say she's absolutely right oh here we are thoroughfare so there's lots to look at in this. Well, there's lots to walk around as well. It's like, kind of like being outside, but not. Which is my favourite type of being outside. So we're going to go for a wander. You can see what I mean about like the art style. It's so super pretty. And whenever you get out into it and you see the vistas and stuff, it's just outstanding. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her. I'm going to get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. It's a wee bit more mad than it tended to be. She tells you to fuck yourself and not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Bit of stuffy nose today too. 1981, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like hey man, or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Frolic. <laughs> Julia was right, you're very pretty. Uh, it's a long drop. Oh, so pretty. So we like to be out of wandering. 
but not really. In real life, wandering is kind of horrible. Not that you can tell by my sleek, sleek physique. So where are we heading for? Two forks, fire lookout, eight more miles. I'm gonna jump over this massive log with my manly manliness. Look how pretty that is. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town and it brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. B -b -b fuck D -d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away or you beat his goddamn face in. We're gonna scare him. Reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on you walk by the river. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Ooh, agree if she commutes. <clears throat> you ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you don't want to move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985, Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You guys, you say that maybe the guys... You guys... Oh my god! You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. To be fair, I normally would do the second, but this sounds like a better idea. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep the secret for now. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Just so you know, this isn't all just storytelling. We do have a whole lot of stuff to do after. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility or you determine to take care of her by yourself. Full-time care facility, it's better for everybody. And we're in the middle of a forest. You just tally on walking up there, sure, Henry, we'll be fine. It's quite serene. It's quite a serene game to play in between peril and things. It is generally a very nice game though. Oh, I see deer. Hello. Hi. Oh, okay. What the hell did you just do? <laughs> her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. 1989, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her sometimes. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies. Oh. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. 
Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Terribly sad backstory. I apologize. But I did not write it. However, it is very sad. There we go. And through the lookout tower. It's creepy as fuck at night, by the way. Do I not have a sprint button? Give me a sprint button. Am I supposed to be taking my time? Up we go. Now, when you see the view when we get to the top of this, I want to live in this lookout tower. Just give me high speed broadband and I shall be the happiest of happy bunnies. Oh, look at that. Look, look. Like, 360. Look how fucking pretty it all is. There's another look I tart over there. That's thoroughfare. But look, it's even nicer in the actual daylight rather than in the uh, sort of nighttime-ish. Doop. Ta-da. We have to get Forks Tower. Hope everybody can hear okay. Radio. What'd you do? Hold left shift. Okay. And that one? Oh. Um, hello? Whoever this is? Is it it's quiet? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Everybody here okay? So what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Yay. Oh. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Very good. Bravo, Henry. Thank you. Okay, I sleep now? Not, Not quite. quite yet. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. Ta-da! So... She's Delilah and I'm Henry. And don't start singing the song. Hey there, Delilah. She's not in New York. She's in frickin' Thoroughfare Tower. You'll have to excuse me. There are grapes to be eaten. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hi. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That Suds. hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted <laughs> with the job. He throws everything. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? That be that one there. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! It's got language, lady. <laughs> facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I see fireworks! Oh, and to use compass. Fucking fireworks? That's not helpful. Oh, yes. Yes. Sorry. Hang on. Lower compass. I need you Report to confirm. fireworks. Do you see that? Yes. Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Oh, is that right. Really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Alrighty, Roo. Do you want me to kick the shit out of them? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. <laughs> what? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they 
don't do it again. Take yeah. their shit. Right, Take their fine. shit. That don't that's the answer. Please. Going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. Okay. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Oh, I need to ah! AM reply. Secure. Secure. Shut up. Right. We are here. The fireworks are towards Jonesy Lake. So that that there's the direction that we're going in. So to my right, I hazard a guess. If I point this way and then do it, do I do I, I don't move. Can we walk forward a bit, Henry, and see what happens? Good man you are. That just puts me that way. Okay. I think it's is it this way? Yay! Finally! Fuck me, Henry, learn to read a map. Come out of the tar, old skew where I forgot myself lost. Find rope in cash box three oh, oh hang on. Put the map away. Is what is that? Is that oh it's a tree. Henry, you're bound to have a, a run. Yes, that was that looked like a little run. There we go. I know I said I've played this before. I am aware that I am utterly shite at it. Just so you know. Um Alright, okay, we are definitely in the right direction. However, uh, I, I do quite enjoy it. So, you know. And it, it's just all trees and pretty and flowers and stuff. Woohoo! There's a box. It was, it was one, two, three, four, wasn't it? I found the supply box. Great. One, two, oh. I guarantee you none of these are ever going to come back again after this. There we go. Whoa, Henry, calm yourself down there. So, copy that information. Scribble it all on the map. Good man. What does that say? Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Find one of those bars you liked hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Okay. Find a note. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. Nope. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Completely Marvelous, nuts. But yeah, one of those, you know, fall off the grid and dance for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Right, where are we going? Do, 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 do. Straight on down this. Okay. Uh, whoa. No. Fuck me! Touch the rope, thank you. Yeah, this is this is a wee bit um horrendous. Uh, I want to move down. There we go. It's a, it's, it's 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 a brief bit of a drop, to be honest. Oh, I jumped. I've played this before, but I still jumped. Henry, are you dead? Are you dead, Henry? Henry, get up. Come on. Ta-da! If you broke all your bits. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? I fell down a steep shaft. Coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think I'll make it. Yay! Be careful for Christ's sake. Do I go, do I go down here? I can't remember. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by a continuing yes. west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Look how pretty. I want to live here. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. So nice. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Can't really miss them, dude. Maybe He's... keep heading west toward the lake. Beer cans everywhere. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, We're gonna clean sure up. Am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Do, do, do. 
So you can pick them up and you can clean up. We're going to pick them all up and clean them all up because we're nice like that. We're not going to report each and every one of them individually. Delilah might fucking kill us. E, There we go. That's all those beer cans. And uh, there be a fire because they're fucking smart. Seeing as it's like the middle of fire season. I'm going to report first. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. Ooh. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. I'm having that. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Thank you. Bundle of what? Oh, bundle of fireworks. Yep. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Confiscate them. Well, confiscate them. Yay! Picking up beer cans. Being good for the environment. Whoop. Right, their backpacks are over here. Whoop. I walked too close. They left their packs tied up here. Having Don't mice problems. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. This is true. I see their clothes. Or something. Yes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? What if they're Won't naked? Won't that be exciting? <laughs> Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Yay! There's a bra! I don't know why I'm excited about the bra. Oh, music in the background. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. We're really going to examine it. I really want him to put it on. Be funny if you could put it on. Pants. Uh, there are uh, panties. There are <laughs> It'll be awesome like this. <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're twelve. Yes. Nobody in the right mind says panties. Another bra. Another pair of panties. There's a. Uh, yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. <laughs> I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Yep. Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. I'm gonna turn this shit off first. Cool stereo. I'm gonna put it down. Hey, put that down. Teens, they are drunk. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. Okay. Don't any more shit or you're fucked, all right? Don't threaten us. I was a bit aggressive, Henry. Who the hell are you, creep? Uh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. I love teenagers. Yeah, love teenagers. Sorry. Oh my God, is that what you are? Mark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. Yep. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Yep. Can I turn this? No, it's not shit. Actually, it's quite good. Just want to turn it off. Woo. Let's get back. Hey, that go okay? Mm. <laughs> I hope they drown. It's done. Well, that's ominous. <coughs> Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Running through the woods. Is it not my job? Why are you thanking me? Oh my god, I'm gonna get lost. Oh my god, it's a pile of muck. Fuck, am I? Okay, running wasn't the best plan. There we go. Let's not, let's not run through the trees, Henry. Uh, let's worry about that when we're out in open. Running like a gazelle. Whoop. Get off the fire pit. Lightning bugs. We don't have fireflies in the UK. It sucks the big one. I would really like to have fireflies. Husband keeps telling me how fantastic fireflies are. 
And we keep not having them. So the next time we go to the States, I am hoping that we go... I don't think that there's such a thing as firefly season. But when when fireflies may be about, because that would be really cool. Oh, my rope broke. How do I get back up? Fuck. I forgot about that. Where's the map? Give me map. Stupid rope. God damn it. We might have to go the whole way back down again. I'm going to talk about the meadow again. There hey, we go. I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. There we go. Alrighty. Need to need to pay attention, Henry. Go across that one, thank you. There's a lot of um climbing. <sighs> Good for us that Henry is quite fit. I don't think I would be capable. Well, I probably would. I would no, I probably wouldn't to be fair. It would be a very slow climb. And as I have mentioned to you guys in the past, if well, if you've been over to the YouTube channel and watched anything over there, I suffer from a thing called fibromyalgia, which is like uh, an illness that uh, it's a, there's a lot of chronic pain basically involved in it. So oh. I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh, what did you do? What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. No shit. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's not a big deal. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. If you could, anyway, I, I would appreciate it. Let me know when you get back to your lookout. I have no idea where I am, Delilah. And there seems to be a storm. Yeah, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? I don't think I way. meant to be the one this just way. Means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, thanks, thanks, Dave. Cheers. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Per Roy. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you oh. believe? I thought she was going to say bears. <laughs> what killed them? Bears. <laughs> oh, no, no one close it. There's a flashlight in there. I'm going to have it. Yes. No. Work. Ah. Blinding myself. Awesome. F for flashlight. That's always nice. Uh. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. Hello! It looks like the path leads through the cave. Does? Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. <laughs> ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is, yep. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Ah. Makes sense. Does all right. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. It's also that. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Oh! <laughs> per Henry, I do enjoy making an absolute dick out of him, to be fair. Climb up the rock. All these very conveniently placed step like rocks. Hello? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. People come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Delilah, you're such a dick. Okay, I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, well, he's fucking gone now. Part of the fun. That's exactly why I don't go outside. Nobody wants to bump into people. It's never fun. 
Well, I have to go outside. I'm lying slightly. I have to go to work tomorrow. I'm I'm not overjoyed by this prospect. Am I gonna? Am I? Why is there? A, can I bust through it? I just lean on it and bust through it. Well done, Henry. You might want to let her know. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, <gasps> but you know, anything for the service. I forgot about him. Anytime. Hey, he's my dude. Forest Burns. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. Where'd he go? He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. Right. A shrink Stand there. Have a field day with you. Ugh. Ugh, thanks, Mom. No, it's shockingly difficult. What kind of name is Forest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. Yes, yes, I it went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> um. I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Really? Me. Uh. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. To be fair, you do have some shit fucking books, like. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. The place is trashed. Completely. Okay, I put in a call. They can't do what anything. What do they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Uh, the girls at the lake? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent Lunatic? campers? Lunatic? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... Picking up know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. What if they haven't much, fucking at least if registered? Else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Oh, uh, I don't. You to feel safe out here. He doesn't. I don't. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Picking up books. Oh, day two. <laughs> Wake up. He's up. I thought he was drinking the whiskey there for a second. Hey, wake up. I'm already up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Sorry, trying to read what it says. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well... You probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yes. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Okay. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? No. Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No. no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Off we go. Out into the show, Shoney. As it is. <laughs> you would think I would fix that fucking window, wouldn't you? Right, Hank, don't bump your head. Good man. So, go back to... What did she say? Back to... 
Okay, I can't ask her. Okay. Back to the cave. Back to the cave. That's where we're going. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Freezing. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I Not mean, normally out running around. Like? Talk about Bucket. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Who's she talking okay, to? You? good. Uh, hey, your button is no, still down. No, I don't think he has any idea. Delilah, I can hear you. I'm absolutely sure. I said I could... Wait, are you talking Would about you? me? Who are you talking to? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that hey, regard. Hey, Delilah. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife. Julia. She's not talking oh, about me. Like, like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife. My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Oh. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful. And escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah. Sure. Stray. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Okay. I'm just gonna wander about the fog-ridden forest. This doesn't look dangerous in the slightest. Telephone pole. Maybe. It's the only wire I've seen. I'm assuming telephone pole. Do I need to hit a specific spot on this to talk about it? Oh, 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 that's Delilah. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Uh, okay. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Beartooth Point is where we need to go. Thoroughfare is where she is. But what's over here? I saw I saw an outhouse. Huh. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa. Uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom. But, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. That looks like a poem. Uh, I'm going to... Can I keep it? I can keep it. Tab to review cap notes. Okay. Hang on a cotton picking moment. Huh. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Hello, supply cache. One, two, three, four. Different color than the others. Has a hat. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Huh. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you it on. probably can't get enough silence. Open the door. Close the door. What the holy good fuck happened here? Anything of interest? Holy shit, that's a long way down. Nice view though. What's down here? Death. All I can hear in my head is death. Can I to examine? This is not helpful. I cannot see this. Thank you. 
What else is there? I'm just too nosy for my own good. Floor of the Shoshone. That's a door. Old stove? What's in you? Oh. Fully expected something to jump out there, like. like. Why else is that openable? Is there literally nothing in here? Like, I can have nothing? This is the weirdest fucking thing. Developers, why did you put an old cabin in the middle of the road, woods and and not put anything in it for us to find? This makes no sense. That's the door. Can't walk around the edges of it because it's all blocked by trees. Where does that go? Can I break? Jump? No. Fuck's sake, Henry, you're useless. Right, get back to finding the bloody cable at least, I suppose. Head for yonder telephone pole. What's that over there? I'll head over there first. Open. One. Two. Three. Four. What's in this one? Okay. Copy that info down. Floor of the Shoshone. How many times have we seen that poster now? Uh, let's read this first. Dave. Yo, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We are co-workers, you know, amigos, professionales. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time travelling, Ron's your guy. I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later on, Ron. So, okay, Dave and Ron. Jesus, we talked to... Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? We. You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but... I There's nothing the in this. The Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. That seems to be comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless oh. Polaroid. I see the wire is down. And and yes, I, I know you would have tried uh, getting up the mountain, but I have done it before. and Well, not gone up the mountain. I have tried to get up the mountain. Um, uh, yeah, okay, the wire It doesn't down. work. Really? Awesome. Good find. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. You hear that? It sounds like people... I don't like it. I see a fucking beer can. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Yeah, the kids. <laughs> My darling husband has just joined in. Why do you think they'd be up Hi, here? Hi, Brian. Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Oh, stay. Go for. What are you stuck on? Oh, okay. <laughs> Must remember what goes up should also come down. Look at that fluffy unicorn. He's so fluffy I'm gonna die. Husband is now following, apparently. Uh So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you nope. suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Yeah, well, we'd all rather not be stuck out here with no communications. Look at that. Written on a pair of panties, no less. Go to hell and a little picture of me. I'm so happy. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just yes. found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. She mm -hmm. wants you to fuck them up. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? 
I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off there. and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need Ooh. a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, like the trail of beer cans? Into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Delilah, I am on it. I am all sorts of on it, like a car bonnet. Ooh, this is a this is a very, very tall drop. Look how pretty it is though. I'm gonna keep saying it, I don't care. And where the hell am I? I'm too busy looking at the chat. Oh, this is a big drop. Don't like it. Go across the log. That's a backpack. Why for be there a backpack? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it nope. looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Could I? Swipe. Fell on my head. Speaking of Brian's, this is owned by Brian. Fuck me. Camera. Ropes. Well, I am flush with ropes now. Yeah. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. How do we use camera? Left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Nice. Neato. Thank you, Brian Clicky. Goodwin. Nice. Okay. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? What's what's wow? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm. Yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was twelve years old, so you know our love could never really be understood. All right, Delilah. I get I'm it. Kidding. Not about him being an actual twelve-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad Ned three summers ago. We. Great kid. You can bring children out here. No. That looks like something's happened to you know, Brian. I'm a for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Are you sure? Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. So it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Cheers, Delilah. Trying to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. <laughs> I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find rocks. those girls, huh? See? Rocks, like, fuck that over there. Yep. Fossilized claw? What? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Put it back. Oh, no. Really? Put it back. Thank you. Note. Dave, guess he's going out with Debbie next week. No, not that shit, Hale Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? <laughs> None of this makes any sense. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Run. Honestly, these two just like got drunk and, and wrote each other's notes. It's fucking strange. I'm not picking the stone up again. Go away. Right, I'm looking. I'm on the lookout for beer cans. No, I see fucking smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. Good. A thin Glad. plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire. I'm gonna say it's a fucking it's campfire. I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Yeah, Keep so I'm going the right way. Plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. So you can do what exactly, Delilah? Are you going to run out of your fucking tower and come down here and help me? With a fire extinguisher? 
I highly fucking doubt it. Thank you, Henry. Look at all the burnt trees. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me? Flapjack? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but <laughs> I do now. <laughs> Next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Yeah, yeah, no. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it's it's something, Delilah. It's it's definitely something. Oh, uh, I always feel like he's going to do his ankles in when he jumps up there or jumps down there. Oh, speaking, speaking is English is my first language. I, I promise. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Um. Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this Camera. is it. This is over. Camera. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Oh, dude, I already have. Regular evil can evil. Oh, yeah. You should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> Don't lie, Henry. So, oh. how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. Yes. I stumbled nice over internet. and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, oh, you were brave. I, I was, was drunk. drunk. No brave about it. Ooh, cash box. We like a little cash box. I wonder if there's another note. I want a note. Give me a note. One, two, three, four. Okay, copy that down first. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. I'd rather not, if it's all the same. What do you say? Missing person Mitch, Mitch Michaels. 31, 62, short brown, distinctive facial hair. I.e., he has a beard. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. It's been a wee while, bless him. Huh. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. Fucking the pine cones! It's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Oh, I have the map open. I can't reply. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't Where's know. the smoke gone? He was in the army. He was off. God it's knows. the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you get to know Brian <laughs> Hey, a Steven. Bit. Nice. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <coughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Right. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. It's lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Take it for yeah, it. Take your word for it. That's where I am. Those In trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I did not. I didn't. Neither did Henry. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? 
Also, Fuck off, uh, Delilah. What it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. I'm in the stream, Delilah. And I see a fucking waterfall. It looks glorious. Photo. Okay, no, no, just one photo, please. Thank you. Call it in. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Well, this would this would sort of you know uh, tell you. There's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. Grizzlies. Nom nom nom. Right, I think we are going to head over this direction. I see the smoke. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. All right. What job this is. Calm down, Delilah. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? Oh, Henry, you're such a dad. It's another one of those magazines. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. They did. They definitely did. However, this does not look good. Uh, we want to, yes, we want to report the tent. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? A bear? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Fucking beer tins everywhere. Note, pick up. Dear Psycho, I think that's me. Oh, no, Mountain Lion didn't do it. We, we, there's no Mountain Liars. I swear, Lions, Liars. There's no Mountain Liars either, there's, but there's definitely no Mountain Lions. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing our panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick. It's not a mountain goat either, dude. Uh, tell her about the note. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No. No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. What well, didn't? Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. <laughs> That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Fucking beer tents. Do I have to walk? No, I don't have to walk all the way back. Um, why? Oh, I have to go. Why am I even up here without the fucking boards? If I swear to God, Henry, hey, you're an idiot. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? A dude. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh, yes. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well. Where did I put that? Me a good start. Now let's see. You shove it up my ass. Scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, <laughs> by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest Why? man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not, 
less shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, clothes, tuxedos, tuxedos as often as possible. As often as possible. Yep. Oh really? You bet. Fucking James How Bond. Cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, good to know, Dale, yes. <laughs> now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. uh yes, thin mustache, well, long I have scar. A thin mustache, real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. I doubt that it's gonna be a grass snake, dude. But thanks for the for the option. I, uh, I, I get up to <laughs> some stuff. Yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is is that okay? Nope. Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. <laughs> Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, happy. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Have my okay, musings changed? It. Thank you, Henry. Ooh. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Your job, well, dude. You've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. <laughs> What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Right, okay. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Oh, yeah. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Ooh. You know, it's not really that comfy. Not at all. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aw. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Can I sit? Oh, no, I can't sit. We're just going to jump to day nine. Alrighty. I'm having a sandwich. I am in a cutscene. I can't do anything. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I am all right. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. Click. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably Ethan. the last person to have seen them. Nice of you to join us. Oh! Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's Yay. not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Might be a good idea. Nah, it's worth mentioning. I, tell them. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll keep it vague. It's good to, really good to know you had a good sleep, Ethan. Cops. Me neither. <coughs> all right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Is that it? Is that all you called in for? That, that's, that's... Brilliant. Cheers for that. Did I not hear from you for days on end in between? Is that, is that how this works? Hello, Henry. Oh. Henry, wake up. What? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Okay. The fuck is going on, Delilah? What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, no. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Oh, no. Mm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. That's great, Henry. Really great. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. 
So sad. So sad. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Yep. Oh, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. Of course You're it is. Hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Ugh. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. Okay. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Sounds like somebody else I know. Oh, I'm going back up here. Okay. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You Oops. were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Yeah, I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Heavy, heavy air. Hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <laughs> Then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. Oh, that's It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for... Over ten years. Jesus. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Me thinks you should be seeing a therapist, dude. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Their expert coding system out here in the Shoshone. Can I steal other people's? Should I steal other people's? <gasps> Put it back. Put it back. Good man. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I nearly stole it, to be fair. For what might be the biggest fire of the year. Holy yeah, shit. It's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Really? And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Um... Okay, big fire. Flapjack so, fire would be sort no of ideas, sweet. Huh? Delilah would be pushing it, I think. Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Flapjack works. Name. You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. She's up there. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Yep. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, Why was and I not wearing my chill hat? in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. 
If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you I'm looking at the fire? So sopping. Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Go and stand outside in the darkness and look at the fire, Henry. It's cute. Well, it's a valid question, Stephen. If I'm not wearing my hat, I thought I was. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Oh, there we go. The smoke sort of came through there for a second. Yeah. Me too. Good. Yay. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Because you love Not me. The same way. I know it's, it's a super important question. A while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I yeah, it has. Me too. I wish you were too. <sighs> me too. Outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Steven's just realized he's a fucking Twitch mod. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Things are getting serious, dude. Pay attention. Pay attention. A You're Twitch going fishing without a license? It's yes. One fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No. I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. Fishing! That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. A Can problem you bear? For fresh tracks and just let me know what you find. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. I'm not gonna go looking for it, fuck that! <laughs> problem bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. No! Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I get in the lake? Fucking right. Can I fish from here? This is as far as I can go. No, no fishing. Why am I not fishing? What the fuck is this? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Put Look the fish in the way. Fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Wapity, wapity station. Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't Ooh. actually find a bear, did Conversations. you? Conversations. Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. Yeah. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Oh, don't like it, I don't like it. It's not the bear. I'm worried. Hush. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also... Shut up, you know, Delilah. Devastating. Let's just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh! I jumped. Everything else Henry, jumped with me. Are you there? At least he's still alive. What happened, Henry? I. I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? Dear I God. Don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with yes. what? Transcripts of our conversations? Yes. What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. Y yeah. I don't what the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I I I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cut. What? Uh, uh, Wapiti Does Meadow. Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. I see it. North of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Do I need to go that way? Start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what 
what you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, Delilah. Believe me, wait fucking don't you? Why? Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Don't be a dick, Delilah. Okay, okay I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Yep. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Well, that's not creepy. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. Nope. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Ooh. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. You do that. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Thanks. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me. Whoa. So hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I, I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos in Spanish and Profesionales is Italian. Okay. I'm going to keep that. Okay. Where are we going? Mm. Like, that away? Yep, okay. That looks about right. Alright, let's let's get some running going on because dear god walking is so fucking slow in this game. No, that that can't Oh, I see a rope hook. Those are very carefully balanced looking stones. Oh, hang on the fuck on. What? Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I I don't think I can get past it. Uh a fence? Yeah. How big? Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate on the gate? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Can't get in! Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. If you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Ruby River is there. See how fucking far away it is? I'm here. And it is there. It's past my fucking tar, for God's sake. Right. Ugh. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Ah, <laughs> uh, Delilah. As much as I love you, you are fucking stupid at times. Hang on, hang on. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. I've gone well, in the wrong direction. Eventually wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. How the hell did I get to here? I called around. Things oh. seem normal with everyone else. Yay! Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? 
Yeah, the late night video call makes more sense. Like. Crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof. I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. <laughs> Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Man, I got hit on the fucking head twice. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... Listening? What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Mm hmm Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. How did I get no, past it? I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Yeah, it's just up here on the right. Let's Whatever go. Whatever you say, boss. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Um. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? Yeah, Delilah is a bit wow, of a deck at times. An old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Uh, yes, the the writing in this is quite um, quite good. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water. But Cash box. I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Okay. Got it. Just one stray. What does that say? Just one stray match. Protect the forest. I kind of want that poster from my wall. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. What's that? Is that a ski? The fuck is there a ski doing? What the fuck? Why can I not call this in? Why the fuck is there a ski? Uh, looks like a... What the fuck is going on? It's a snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Folks, did you steal it, Delilah? Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. Delilah, did you steal the sign? It sounds like you stole the sign, Delilah. Oh, that's not like something out of a horror movie at all. Camp Ara Arapaho? Arapaho. You there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. 
I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Oh, can I take a photo? That looks like something I want to take a photo of. Click. That's the weirdest fucking color, by the way. Right. Oh, fuck me. Yes, this is a fucking horror movie. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian. It's the Firewatch symbol. Well, oh, no, it's not. It's the... Forced, that's the... I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters. It's not the Illuminati. Like huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblo do it. That's the second one of those. I'm gonna take it. Take it. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. It's not the Illuminati. It's a fucking game and I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Toilet paper! Oh, I know what it's for. Do not pick up that trowel. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. A Pulaski? It looks like an axe to me. Does? This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo D. from the boss. He calls hmm. her D. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Wapiti Station. Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? What? Well, all sorts of things. Horned toads. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? Mm-hmm. I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mm-hmm. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Fuck that. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it there. I will, however, I will save it, of course, at this point. And, um, all being well, we will pick this back up again uh, next Sunday, probably about the same time. And, yes, I do have to walk all the way back up again. Uh, it's an absolute pain in the hole. Walk all the way down, walk all the way up, to walk all the way down, to walk all the way up, to walk back to the fucking hut at the end of the day. So... I'm going to sign off here. Cheers for keeping me company, guys. And uh, I will see you soon.